Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Cheryl Technology Channel. My name is, is Chris, of course. I am your host, and if you have not ever been to my channel before, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are part of a select few, we'll put it that way, and we uh, we like to do it legit around here. So uh, if you would, hit that like button and comment, subscribe. I always answer every comment that I get, and let's just get right into it. This is the third part in my continuation of my SAS video where I built my server. So the two videos, you'll see two videos before. The first one was setting up of the the RAID part. So I set up the RAID array. The second was me installing the drives. And this is the third one. This is the end result of what you see. So in this video, you'll see that I have a bunch of local storage drives. So this is the 138 gig RAID array, the RAID one that you saw. Right, so your ISO images go here. I have two of them. This one I'm probably going to get rid of because it is not very good. I can't get, there's one specific piece I can't get working, so I kind of gave up on that. Uh, this one runs all of my other stuff. So you can see I have Twingate. I have not finished, install. I've, I've installed it, but I haven't finished it yet. So the Univi controller, though, is the one that I have finished. So basically what I, what we did was I took um, under the storage, you can see I have the two SSDs. Eventually these will become the caching disk. I don't know why it says it's using 13.4% because I didn't put anything on it. So that's kind of weird. This is my, the 600 gig storage drives that I was telling you about. This is the RAID 5 that I built. Um, I have plans to add a quad port NIC. Um, I got it right here. The model number is a Intel Pro 1000 PT quad port. And that's an LP server adapter. So it's a very, very reliable card. Intel, I would highly recommend going to do anything with networking by an Intel card. They seem to have the most compatibility with pretty much everything. I've never had any issues with that card. I took the bracket off and lost it. So I really wanted to look at, to show you what, how this is set up. So if you look, we'll go into the Univi controller real quick. So you can see it's, it's just basically a, um, a command a terminal interface. I mean, it's, this is what it looks like on the back end. Let me show you what it looks like on the front end. Here we go. Let's do this. So it's the secondary HTTPS port. Now, so you see the back end of this. So this is what I think is the coolest thing about virtual machines and building a server for yourself. If you do this, you're building a entire environment where you can play around with anything. You can build anything you really want to build. You can build literally anything. And, and that's what I love about it. So basically what I did was I built, there's a script by a guy named um, Glenn R. Let's go to his website. R. Right here. So right here, this guy right here. He builds the actual scripts for, and I've done a video on this. He builds the actual script to install this on a virtual machine or on a on an Ubuntu server or or a Linux distribution. So that, and I can tell you that I've I've seen it on both Windows server and Linux, and it runs 10 times better on Linux. Just saying. Is Linux for everybody? No, but it is really good for server stuff. So then you'll see that I have three I have three devices. I have two, two APs and a switch, which I will be getting rid of soon because I don't need it anymore. So you can see it's using port one. That's what's plugged into my MacBook right now. And then Port 13 is my uplink to my Dell switch. So I have a Dell uh, N2048P running my network, but then this switch runs, these two here are my cameras. So, I mean, it's, it's basically running, it's just showing me the interface. It's showing me the front end. All the back end stuff is happening on the virtual machine. So this is actually running it's hosting this. Um, Zenthal, I don't know if I have. I do. Look, look at this. So this is um, Zenthal right here. This is what it, Zent, Zent Yal, Zent Yal. I don't know how the freak you say that. <coughs> it is a domain controller for Linux, kind of. Right now, I have two NICs 
that are tied three technically. So I have one of them is for the Dell iDRAC. And so that's what's running this. This is by far the most, I, I did a video a while back on the, it's called the Mighty Dell T410 server. Th that is the best, it's rock solid, man. It's, but right now I only have the two built-in NICs that are built into the server. But eventually I'm gonna add four more NICs for more expansion eventually we'll be running a lot more on this thing but right now this is what i have and i got away from as my last video you heard i got rid of vmware because it wasn't supported anymore as a matter of fact when you run through the installation it tells you that that it's not compatible it'll tell you that the the ones that you're running uh processors you're running are not compatible with the newest version like i can't even install like you can use up to 6.7. Past that, I would have to go get new processors, and I don't want to do that. I mean, this thing runs perfect the way it is, so I'll probably leave it this way. Since I went through all of that, and y'all have heard all of my rambling, um, if you made it this far, thank you. And you will see that, so these two SSD drives are basically going to be for write caching. So what that is, so just so y'all know, what that means is that when the data is being transferred rather than sending it all to like continuously sending it, it writes it to these disks, these SSDs. And then from the SSDs, it sends it to the storage when it needs it. it, it it's kind of a good way to reduce some of the load on the disk drives. It does a good job of that. But so like I said, I have a Dell Perk 310 card in this machine running a RAID 5. I have six disks. I have two disk in a RAID 1 and four disk in a RAID 5. So I could suffer a full disk loss and be fine. That, but maybe one of these videos I'll, I'll do some other things too. But um, for right now, this is what I have. This is what I, I ended up going with. This is what I did. This is the way I did it. And it's run literally flawlessly. And you would think with like a standard disk, like a, a spinning drive that it would be slow but this thing is not slow at all it's like the opposite it's even faster than it was when it was on vmware it's even faster than that that's what i can tell you okay everyone so i i've kind of told you about my server and you saw the videos of where i was installing the drives all that kind of stuff uh until next time thank y'all for watching like comment subscribe and may the lord bless and keep each and every one of you and until next time, everyone, peace.